Today, we're going to talk about NFC tokens and how you can use them in 3D prints to make them interactive. Wait, did you say NFT? No, I said NFC, not NFT. Okay, good, because I lost a ton of money on those NFTs. Why'd you do that? I don't know, it just seemed like the right move at the time. I still haven't financially recovered from it though. Well, that's unfortunate, but not at all what we're talking about. Today, we're talking about NFC or near field communication tokens. And unlike NFTs, these are very much tangible and in the real world. We're gonna talk about some ideas where we can embed these into 3D prints and make them interactive. Let's take a look at what I've done so far. So a couple things I've made using these NFC tokens. This is a digital business card that I designed. I have a key ring on it so that I can attach it to my badge at a conference or a uh, trade show. And I can quickly give um, colleagues my information Similarly, I made this old school 3.5 inch floppy little business card thing. And this uh, can go to anything I want it to and thought it was a pretty cool conversation piece. This is a Wi-Fi coaster. Now, unfortunately, iPhones can't read NFC directly to Wi-Fi credentials, but I'm told if you have an Amazon or if you have an Android phone, you can tap your phone against this and if it's set up to send Wi-Fi credentials, it would log your phone onto the local Wi-Fi hotspot. So I thought that was cool. This is something new I'm trying to roll out in my shop. These are NFC triggered um, product reordering tags, tags. So I have these set up with a loop on them. I'm gonna zip tie them in my shipping area next to all my shipping supplies. And if, for example, I need a replacement uh, order of six by nine bubble mailers, I can just tap my phone to this tag It'll load up the Amazon page for this product and I can reorder right there. And then another thing I made, I took this 3D scan of myself and turned it into a little minifigure with NFC in the base. And right now it's just going to my Etsy shop, but I could use this for a number of things and I thought it was a pretty cool little trinket. Now that you've seen a few cool use cases for NFC tokens in 3D prints, I'm gonna show you the fusion files for these. I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how you can create a cavity for an NFC token. And um, I'm also going to include the file link to the files in the description for anyone who wants to play with these, uh, these ideas or use them for yourself. So first I have this NFC business card. So this is a two part one. We've got an open face here for, for the cavity for the NFC token. And then this would get glued on and then you could put a keychain ring through there or whatever. This one doesn't require a pause when you're printing it because it's two pieces. The reason I designed this as two pieces, if you saw in the real world example, it had that cool geometric pattern on it. That's actually from the print bed I have. So I printed this in two pieces so that I could get that effect on both faces. And then I just glued it together with the NFC token inside. And this is a two-piece one as well, and I just figured it would be easier to do this as two-piece. There was no real reason to do a pause, place, and print uh, situation. I just made the uh, a dust cover the separate piece that hides the NFC token, and I just glue that in place, and it's good to go. This one is the tool manual one. So this is designed to clip on the handle of my Thunder laser and then you can just tap your phone to it and get a PDF for the manual for the laser if I needed to refer to it for anything. And this is, this could be, um, this idea could be um, reused for many different tools. I just specifically made this one to clip on the handle because that made the most sense for placement. This is the inventory tag and this is just designed to zip, zip tie to my storage racks so I can quickly walk up to the Rack, see that I need more 9 by 6 by 2 boxes, tap the, the tag, and I'm on Amazon ordering more product. And this one is a Wi-Fi coaster. Unfortunately, the iPhone doesn't have the whatever it needs to directly go from NFC to logged into Wi-Fi. But this allegedly works with Android and other phones, so that's why I included it. For my case, I just put a text document on the NFC card with the credentials. So if I have guests over, I just say, hey, tap that. There's the credentials, copy and paste them into your Wi-Fi thing. 
not the most secure thing, but uh, I hopefully not going to have somebody walk off with one of these coasters and have my credentials. Now that we've gone through the ones that I already made, I'm going to do a real quick tutorial on how you would create just a basic NFC 3D printable coin. So we'll start with a new sketch. We know that that token is just under an inch, so I will draw a one inch circle. I'm going to offset that by a quarter inch. We'll start by extruding this up. I'll go up 0.125. Turn that sketch back on. I'll go up 0 0.05. Now we have a cavity that is 0 0.05 inches thick, which will accommodate the NFC token. And we'll create one more quick sketch. And we don't actually even have to do anything, just finish it. And that just is enough to give us an area we can extrude. And I'll go up another 0 0.05. And that has a cavity. If we do a section analysis, On this face, we can see that there is a void inside there that we'll be able to put our NFC token in. So now we could take this a step further. If we wanted to add a way to attach a keychain to it, and we could just create a sketch here, put a small hole here. And if we look at this right, we can see that it didn't expose the void, so we can attach a keychain to that. If we wanted to add some graphics to this, we could insert an SVG. And then we could colorize that in Bamboo Studio. And I mean, that's really the basic gist of how you would create a cavity that you could put an NFC token in. Then you could adapt this to a million other ideas, but that is a general basic NFC printable keychain. And like I said, you could adapt that to a bunch of different ideas. If you're not comfortable working in Fusion or any other modeling software, you can actually do this process right in Bamboo Studio. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. I have this 3D model I brought in. It's a 3D scan of me that I put on a base and I want to put an NFC token in it so that I could use it for, I don't know, just uh, just thought it might be cool. So th that's what I'm going to use for the example. So I've already sized it to the size I want. It's roughly two and a half inches tall. The base is like an inch and a quarter. So it's a perfect size to get that one inch NFC token in the base. We're going to start by right clicking on our model and hitting add mo modifier and then cylinder. We now have a cylinder here. So first thing we need to do is size this cylinder to the size for our NFC token. And the way I'm gonna do it is to make it twice as tall as the NFC token. So it'll carve out the cavity in the bottom and then I'll, I'll, I'll cut it in half and close it back up. I, uh, I tried other ways where I could just create the cavity without opening the bottom and I just couldn't make it work. I'm sure there's other ways and if you know how, how to make it work, let us know in the comments. Admittedly, I didn't do too much research on it. This was more of me just poking around figuring out how to do this. Click on the scale tool. Our diameter is already good at 25.6 millimeters. That's just over one inch and our height will be three millimeters because I said I want to go twice as tall as our token. All right, and we can close that. Then we'll go to the move tool and I'm going to select world coordinates and 
I'm going to go to 0. Since we extruded this, since this object is technically shrunk in both directions, going to 0 puts the middle of the object on the base plane, so we need to go to 1.5 millimeters. And you see that puts us right on the base plane. All right, now we can get this lined up with our model quickly and easily by first centering. We got a closed move tool. Make sure everything is deselected. Select our model, right click on it, center it. Let's click our other one, center that, and it is where we need to be. So now we can select our model again and the mesh boolean tube. You can either click this icon here or hit B on your keyboard. And then we want to subtract that cylinder from our model. So we'll go to difference. We want to select our model as what we want subtracted from. And we're going to select our cylinder as the tool that's going to cut the cavity. Then we will click difference. Now we have our cavity in there but we need to close it up, but leave room for that NFC token. So since I left the cylinder there, I didn't hit delete input. We can select our cylinder again, go to scale, cut it in half, and then move it to world coordinates and we'll go to 0.75 and that puts it so that it is where we need it to be and we will select mesh boolean we're going to do union this time we've selected our model now we need to select our cylinder and hit union and we're done we have our cavity now that we have our cavity in there it's time to slice our model and set a pause so that the printer pauses right before that cavity gets closed up and this process is going to be the same whether you design your model in fusion or you added the cavity right here in bamboo studio first thing we want to do we want to make sure our model quality is what we want it to be so i have it at 0.16 if you change this after you slice it you'll have to reposition your pause because the layer height will be different so now that we have that taken care of, we're going to hit slice plate. And then on the right side, we have the slider. We're going to pull it down until we see our cavity open up. The last layer before the cavity gets closed is layer 16. So I'm going to right click on this plus down here and hit add pause. And then I'm going to slice the plate again and we're ready to send it to the printer. So the next thing to do once your print starts, it's going to go through its process and then it's going to pause the printer at layer 16 in my situation it may be different for you depending on the object that you're doing this to the machine will pause at layer 16 in my situation i'll drop the nfc token into the cavity and then i'll hit resume printing on the machine and it'll continue on its way we know what we can do with an nfc token we know how to put a cavity in a 3D print so we can place that NFC token. But how do we program them? Well, there's an app available on the iPhone and Android, and the one I'm using is called NFC Tools. And this allows you to write and rewrite NFC tokens. So I'm gonna give you a quick rundown of how to use this software and what kind of records you can put on these NFC cards. Okay, so we'll launch NFC Tools. We're going to go to read first because I want to see what's on this one and here I can see all the data about this NFC token and I can see the record in it is going to uh, my YouTube page let's write something on this NFT token so first we're going to add a record here's the things we can do we can do things like text URL you can have an app open we can point to an email address. We can add a contact, which is really useful for electronic business cards. We can have it trigger FaceTime. We can have it trigger a Bluetooth connection. We can do a custom record. 
if you have a device that's uh, compatible, you can have it configure a Wi-Fi network. A lot of things you can do with these. For the sake of this example, though, we're just going to do a URL. So let's go, let's make it simple. Google.com. We'll hit OK. Then all we need to do is hit right. Bring our object up to it, and it is done. So now if we close NFC tools, and I just hold this here, Google gets launched. And that is all there is to writing an NFC token. And then this is rewritable over and over again, and I can change this, I'll change it back to what I had it doing. And yeah, these are super handy. A lot of cool stuff there. I've had so much fun experimenting with these NFC tokens, and hopefully this video inspired you to create your own NFC powered prints. Which reminds me, if you create anything cool, anything at all, share them in the comments. I'd love to see what you guys are making and maybe we can inspire each other. And like I said earlier, I'm going to be linking all the files I created for this video in the description below. So feel free to experiment with them, remix them, use them for what I designed them for and have fun. Hopefully this has been fun and useful and I'll see you guys in the next video.